Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Jasenia, and today I'm gonna be going over my January favorites. I'm gonna go through different categories of like food, beauty, baby stuff, cause you know, I'm a mom, and all that good stuff. So let's just get right into it. So we're gonna start off with food favorites. So I am in the kitchen, and unfortunately I don't have my first favorite on hand with me, but my first favorite of the month is the Yasso Vanilla Bean Poppables. Oh, oh my gosh, they are so good. I really enjoy the outside crunch it has and then the Greek yogurt vanilla inside. And it is so cold. I don't know what it is. Like it's colder than ice cream when you bite it. I don't know, but it's so yummy, yummy. And I recommend you guys try it out. Next on the list is this strawberries and cream milk. And oh my goodness, this is literally like drinking ice cream. And it probably is because it has so much sugar, but <laughs> I just bought it to try it out. And my husband fell in love with this milk, so he makes me buy it every time now. <laughs> but it really is delicious. It's like dessert, you're drinking dessert. It's so yummy. Next on the list to continue this sweetness factor, are brownies i have been obsessed with baking brownies ever since my sister-in-law came last month she just like introduced me to the world of baking again because i haven't done it in so long and when she was here we baked like a bunch of different sweets and i've just been going on with the tradition i gotta cut it down just a little bit because it doesn't align with my healthy habits i'm trying to do this year but oh my gosh the brownies are so delicious I did bake some last night and they just come out so fudgy. I'm going to link the recipe I use below. I just follow a YouTube video and oh, delicious. Delicioso. The last food related item is if you're over 21, wine. Oh my gosh. I forgot about how wine tastes. Like I really haven't drank alcohol since before I was pregnant with Aurelia. Like I really didn't drink that much. I would drink like here and there. And I don't know, I had just forgotten about it, but I feel like now as an adult, I don't care for the crazy drinks. I mean, when I go out, sure, like a margarita, but now that I'm home and I don't know, I'm just more chill, like a nice wine to relax is so nice. And I am a red wine girl. I love red wine. So my husband has been picking up a wine called La Crema and it has been delicious. I did have some in my last video for the, my mommy pampering day. <laughs> so you can check it out there. Um, but yeah, it was just, it's been so delicious and so nice to just have a nice dinner with Josh, chill with my little wine and you know, just relax. Moving on to home stuff. I have been loving this entryway area that I set up in my checking off to-do list video where I put this little thing up. Basically before this area was just white space. We would use it for empty boxes for packages and it was just not it for me. So I finally set up the little entryway decor. I love that it has like this is simple, like I guess is it boho? Boho style to it with the color, the features. I put a little plant there from Target, fake, because I do have cats that will eat them. But nonetheless, I think it looks beautiful and I have been loving it. We're back in the kitchen for the next home favorite, but it has been this handheld blender. And guys, this will change your life. If you have a blender and you don't blend big stuff, like a smoothie for like 10 people, and you just blend for one, two, maybe your toddler or something, this is the item to buy. <laughs> I hate doing dishes, right? So when you tell me that I have to wash that big ass blender, when you tell me that I have to wash that big blender, it demotivates me or unmotivates me to make a smoothie, to make healthy little things like that. When I was making purees for my baby, this is what I would use, hands down. It is so easy. You just literally pop it on, connect it, because I didn't spend the extra money on the wireless one. <laughs> and then you just literally click this button over here. And bzzz. and the best part is it doesn't spill. It doesn't make a mess. It doesn't just like all over. You know what I'm talking about? Like when you think you're going to expect it to like splash up. 
it doesn't splash. It is such a good item. I am so glad I bought it. <laughs> I do not use my blender anymore. I just use this. And then the washing is just so easy. As long as you just take it off and rinse it with some water right after you use it, then you can just wash it with soap later. It doesn't stick and it just makes life so easy. And I love that you can kind of just break it apart. And I have this little basket. I just put one part in, the other. And here's my blender. I just literally store it right up here with like a bunch of other stuff and it's such easy access. It does bring this little cup, so if you wanna make like smoothies and stuff. It did have a top, but I don't know where it's at right now. So yeah, this is, has been like a favorite in this household, and I am not going back. <laughs> My last little home item are these cups. I know you've probably seen them in my past videos before, but this one is newer. I haven't used this one as much because I got it about a month ago but I love these cups. I just think they're the cutest thing. Don't mind the coffee stain. I had drank coffee here not too long ago. Oh, I just built up. Anyway, these cups, um, they feel like really good quality. They're made out of ceramic. I did find the guy that makes these um, on Instagram. His name is Rain, and he makes these type of cups. Like they all have the same style and they're just the cutest thing. I love it. <laughs> And when I bought the first one, I waited for him to have a drop on the second one. And I just wanted like a set. So I think I'm good with these two. They are a little expensive, but they are handmade. So it is good quality, you know? I enjoy the cups. I just think they're so cute. And they bring me just a little bit more happiness with my coffee. Moving on to beauty and fashion. We are near my closet, but we're not gonna go inside because it's a lot messy, but I do have a couple of beauty and fashion finds, not a lot, but I'll start off with my brows and the lashes. Earlier this month, I did a lash lift and a brow tint. I forgot the name, but I'll put it here. And basically I have never done a brow tint ever. I'm afraid to do like anything to my face. So I actually really, really liked how it came out. I'm sad that like the tint only lasted a few days. By now it's already kind of gone, but you can see how it looked fresh in my last video of the mommy makeover, cause I got it in that video, but I really liked it. So I, I'm gonna go back and do it probably as time permits slash, you know, money and stuff. And then I always enjoy getting a lash lift. My lashes are straight. They, even if I curl them, they like go back down and there's just no way of fixing it. So lash lifts are for me and I think it makes a difference in my face. So I really like when I get them and it makes me feel pretty. <laughs> Moving on to some clothing stuff. Um, I have been loving these shoes. They're, I feel like they're kind of like a Dr. Martin dupe. I got these for Marshalls for like 20 bucks and I got them maybe like a month or two ago but now is that I'm actually wearing it and they actually hold up pretty good in the snow. I don't really have snowshoes because I haven't bought snow weather stuff, <laughs> but these hold up pretty good in the snow. They look good and they're actually really comfortable. So I, I have been loving those. The next thing is this little leather jacket thing going on. Also from Marshalls. I am finding that I am a Marshalls girl now. It's from Calvin Klein and it just, it's so soft and it kind of has like this buttery feel to it. It's very comfortable. And honestly, when I wear it, I feel like a badass, <laughs> you know? So I love everything about it. And honestly, when I was growing up, I used to hate the cheetah print. I don't know what it was. I just didn't like it, but it's kind of grown on me. Like when I'm wearing this and you can kind of see the inside, I, I like it. I like what's, what's happening, you know? The next category are my baby's favorite items of the month. Not my items, her items. And full circle, we have made it back to her play area, otherwise known as the living room. She has taken over. She has had three favorites or four this month. The first favorite that she has been loving this month is this mini shopping cart. We went to Target last week and we saw it in the play area. So we kind of just let her walk around the store with it and it was the cutest thing. She would pick up toys and put it inside her cart and just keep walking. <laughs> she loved it so much, we bought it for her. And at home, she's been using it every single day. It's been such a good little toy for her, she loves it. Her next favorite is actually water. 
but not just regular plain old water she tried propel water for the first time and she fell in love with it <laughs> she kept asking for more and more and more i did read up on it that it does have sugar so i'm kind of gonna treat it as juice and tell her that it's hugo which is juice and you know we'll have it as a treat we'll have it like you know here and there maybe like once a day or something but it's not gonna replace her normal water intake if that makes sense speaking of things she loves we went to marshall's recently as you can tell from all the items in this video and we bought her this little tent with this entryway circle thing and she absolutely loves it yesterday i actually cleaned her play area and it was tough because the before was really messy and i contemplated taking out the little tent but even today she played in it and it was so cute so i'm gonna leave it here for a little bit we love going in there and just having a little hideout she laughs and then she'll go out and get something and then come right back in and it's honestly the cutest thing ever i i really do love it playing with her in there and if you haven't seen my instagram i've been making a cat versus baby toy saga because <laughs> all my baby toys my cats will play with and honestly i'm gonna have a little twist in there because my baby has been trying to go to the cat stuff now so i swear cat toys and baby toys they're just one and the same like they just have different names but they're the same thing the next item is the learning tower and I would say she loves it because she's always able to be at counter height with us when we're making food, preparing food. She loves washing her hands and playing with the water in the sink sometimes. So I, I would say she loves it, but I love it as a mom because I feel like I get to include her in a lot of kitchen things that I do. It also helps prevent a lot of big feelings because a lot of times she wants to be carried and be with mommy, but mommy's trying to cook or wash dishes. So I just put her at counter height and she sees me and calms down. She just is looking at what I'm doing and it distracts her. I give her like a little whisk or something to play with and it just works out for her and it works out for mom. So that's a favorite on both ends. Oh, and then a bonus item for her. We did go to Marshall's and she loves, oops, she loves these peekaboo books. Um, we recently got these two. She had one before already, but she loves being able to like interact with it and put it like up and down. She loves it. So we bought two more on our last trip to Marshall's. And to wrap up my favorites, I'm going to talk about some TV shows that we have been watching. And the first one is called The Mole. If you've ever played or heard of the game Among Us, it's just like that. It's a group of people where they have to complete missions and the missions earn money in this pot that one player will win at the end i think and there is one mole in the group that kind of like sabotages the mission and no one knows who it is you have to try to figure it out i'm almost done with the season that i'm watching the only one they have up on netflix and it's just been a fun little watch to do after the baby goes to bed and we're just like eating dinner so it's been like a fun little thing that we have enjoyed up next this month we have been watching the recruits i love these little like cia type of shows and they're just fun to watch Basically, it's just about this law student guy that works for the CIA without training. So realistic, right? <laughs> and he's on this mission to figure out threat from a former asset. And it's just fun to watch. I haven't finished it just yet. And then my final show that I've been kind of like binging is Love Island. I know, I know. It's just a reality TV dating. But ever since we watched the first season ever that we had seen, um love island uk oh my gosh it's so fun to just get involved with all the drama and like uh, it's just i'm not a dramatic person so i like to see it. so we've been watching the love island usa version now i gotta say i like the uk version better but i think that's just because you know when you watch a show for the first time and that's your first impression i feel like i got the first impression that i love the uk version so i'm trying to get used to the usa version but nonetheless, it is dramatic and I love it. But that wraps up all of my favorites for January. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have tried any of my favorites or if you're going to down below in the comments. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe as it helps my channel out. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.